Good day, Brian from CCR here with a video just to, of what I have learned or a breakthrough that I have gotten with these office jet printers that has been puzzling me for a while and I've finally got the opportunity to work on two similar machines which is this 7610 and this 7612 which has similar boards and I'm going to show you something this is a, will be a two part video this is the first part of showing you um, what is the initial issues with these two printers and then I'll show our next video of swapping the, the printer boards and the problem from that printer moves from that printer to this one and the problem from this one will move to that one so there's the first part this is the original boards in each one you could tell the original board for this one for the 7612 you'll see this here is different than this one here right that is the network port right so this one has a little more network capabilities and plus when you put in this board i already swapped there right? this board in here um, the scanner unit will have some issues. It will have it will have a problem with the scanner unit, but it will, it will give the error that it's supposed. So this one will give you. I'll go and do the first one. <coughs> this one should be giving you um, missing print head error. So ink system field effort. Let me press OK. Missing or field print head, right? So if you, you see the print head is moving right, carriage tray is moving, everything is moving with this. Right, so we'll go in the rest position after it does the initialization phase. So everything is moving, you can see in this, right? Checking everything before it puts it in the rest in the station in the corner, and then it will give it'll stop. So doing all the checks right now, it in the so when it close down, you get the carriage jam because right. So you see the carriage moving, right? And you get the insistent failure, you'll keep on giving this error. Right? So good moving. Everything in. Right, so I'm gonna shut down this printer here now. Give me car jam. Well, the reason I feel giving the car jam error is because of what I did with this machine. But anyhow, so we're taking off this here now. We can it shut down. Take out the plug from here. Move the plug to this one and put on this one here now. Press it. All right, press it now. Then. All right. So you will, you most likely wouldn't hear anything. Right, so same ink system failure and carriage jam error, and I keep on doing that. It's trying to move. All right, I'll put my finger down in here so that you know that it says that. So let me put something down inside it. Right, so carriage jam. And if you're watching the corner here, it can't move it locked. So even if I try to get it out, it can't come out. Right? So we observed that this one was moving, right? And this one wasn't moving. So that is the two problems. So I'll bring our next video with it swapped. I'll swap the boards and you'll see most likely this might move still because it locked in the corner but you'll start again a car jam error and then you'll see that this the print head in this one will not be moving at all. So it it is like the print the 
the board itself to any printer hey i know that your 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 carriage jam i mean your carriage tray cannot move and it's not supposed to be moving so it will just think that it's not moving so uh turn off this now it reading cartridges everything and shut down close up and i'll give you the next video after All right so bye this first part second part coming in a little bit when i swap them hi brent from ccr here with the part two to the mysterious board error transfer problem so if you can remember from the last video this is the one for the 7612 so you watch this and this is the one for the 76 this is the one for the 76 12 this is the one for the 76 10 right that is the boards to know the difference between them so putting this on on the 76 12 and see what's happening now so the main thing you'll be checking in this one is to see if the uh, carriage tree moving at all Right, so I go in and raise up and put this here and see in carriage jam, right? So press OK. See, unable to scan a failure because this printer, this board has a different maybe firmware or software in terms of figuring out how the scanners work, or the cable in for this is just different than the one on in the sem for the board itself so the configuration must be different so it can't read the scanner so and this must be have the fax feature on this one and that one must do have the fax feature on it so let's go because let me see so this will make the printer think that the door is closed and you just press ok here and if you press ok while it's saying carriage jam this should move a little bit see it move a little bit and then go anywhere so this board in its main memory or it's whatever errors happen on this system on a printer itself will write to this board so this is the remember the 7610 board that had the carriage error so right now it tell any printer hey we had a carriage error you're not supposed to be moving but if you can remember in the last video the other board was moving the print head and the whole carriage so we can't move see it moving there trying to move and stop so this error has moved from that printer to this printer because of the board so i'm going to shut down this printer here it really cartridges say yes so this as you know moves freely so now we're moving on to the next printer with the from this printer that was moving the print head freely so we unplug in here and we put in it here and we go in towards the 7610 and press power this power button is pretty full you know right so right let me see what it's saying here. Alright, missing or or feel printed, which was the error that you was getting in this one. So you realize the board problem moved to this printer. And the carriage tree is moving. So you see what I figure out here right now. I have solved majority of the issues that most printers have. Printer failure. This is also an error that was coming from this thing. So boards read and save errors and save it in their memory. I don't know how you reset it because I thought that the CMOS battery which was a, sim a similar thing to a printer. I mean to a computer where it saves the BIOS data. I I took out the battery for a while, for a whole day actually. Put it back in, nothing changed. So you can see the error has moved to this printer. 
missing or fail printhead. So, this printer could be very well good. This printhead could be perfect. But the board is still reading as missing or fail printhead. Moving. You can see that it is moving. Freely. No problem. But before, when I was swapping, when I swapped it, this was locked in the corner. So the board saves errors. So now I'll take out this, close down this, turn off this, and now we are realizing that that HP boards save errors. So if I get a brand new spanking board that works fun functioning properly and put it in one of these machines with no errors on it, this printer should be working unless the print head has some other issue which I doubt because if I could go back and tell you what was going on with this printer is that the print head was already changed when they was getting the print head error and when they change it the same error still popped up this printer in the back here if I get a board fit let me tell you what's wrong with this this printer the problem with it is they're saying that two of the cartridges magenta and cyan are not reading they are either damaged the only thing that the customer did was left on the printer with the print head the cartridges out went and buy cartridges came back put them in then get print ink system failure after that the ink system failure error left and then it said damage or missing cartridge the same two cartridges that were low on ink what i think now if i had a print head for this and i print that i bought for this and i changed it because i swapped these two cartridges two other cartridges because those are two brand new cartridges if i swapped the board of a brand new or a working board that never had that error that error should go so this is the final conclusion and i feel it's a major breakthrough in the issues and errors that i have come across throughout the time that they have been fixing these types of printers and i know somebody out there has been encountering these problems and thinking that it is the print head and it's not the print head it's the board the board saves errors which i was always thinking a while now and finally got to try this out for myself so thanks for watching bye